Rumors the North Korea leader Kim Jong-un had traveled to China circulated this week following the sighting of an armored train that was believed to be the same one Kim Jong-il used during state visits. China announced the visit took place this week and North Korea expert and author Gordon Chung has revealed why the despot leader met with President Xi. He said, I think the reason why Kim went to Beijing was because Beijing demanded that he go there. You have got to remember that Kim was going to make his first foreign trip to South Korea to go south of the military demarcation line in the demilitarized zone to the Peace House, which is in South Korea. Getty Fox Business North Korea News, Kim Jong-un met with Chinese President Xi Jinping, and then his second foreign trip was to see President Donald Trump. The Chinese realized they were being marginalized and what they said to Kim was, you come to Beijing, or else. Mr. Chung also told Fox Business that President Donald Trump's pressure has been key in Kim Jong-un's visit to China. He said, I don't know what's going to happen with the Trump and Kim summit but I think it was very good of President Trump to do that because he was cutting out the Chinese. I think the reason why Kim went to Beijing was because Beijing demanded that he go there. Gordon Chong, the Chinese over the century have really been a Moline influence. They have been helping the North Korean nuclear effort as well as their ballistic weapons program. What Trump decided to do, he was not going to put up with that. He was going to talk to Kim Jong-un directly. You have got to remember, this is occurring at the same time as the trade disputes. The Chinese have heard American presidents threaten trade actions, but they haven't really seen anyone carrying through. President Trump is carrying through and the Chinese right now is probably pretty bewildered. They have got both Kim and Trump giving them a hard time. The leader of the Hermit Kingdom is already believed to have left the Asian superstate but during his meeting with the Chinese president said that he was committed to denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula after sparking World War III fears with a series of missile tests. Kim Jong-un said, if South Korea and the U.S. respond to our efforts in good faith, build a peaceful and stable atmosphere, and adopt phased and simultaneous steps for peace, the issue of denuclearization on the peninsula can be resolved. The issue of denuclearization of the Korean peninsula can be resolved, if South Korea and the United States respond to our efforts with good will, create an atmosphere of peace and stability while taking progressive and synchronous measures for the realization of peace. Kim Jong-un also confirmed that Pyongyang is willing to hold a summit with Donald Trump. Images of the meeting have emerged with Kim Jong-un and President Xi shaking hands and standing in front of their respective national flags. Kim's first visit is thought to be the first time the leader has taken since his father's death towards the end of 2011. China has long been thought as Kim Jong-un's only ally but has imposed sanctions on North Korea in response to the rogue state's nuclear testing in 2017. Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-il met with then-Chinese leader Jiang Zemin back in the year 2000 at the time the visit was seen as a reaffirmation of the close ties between both nations.